Hello guys, welcome to the practical session of field practices in agricultural engineering. Today we are going to demonstrate you the practicals, determination of water infiltration rate and determination of permeability coefficient. Let's see how to determine water infiltration rate. Infiltration rate is the velocity or speed of water which enters into the soil. It is usually measured by the depth of water layer in millimeters that can enter into the soil in one hour. In dry soils, water infiltrates rapidly. This is called inertial infiltration rate. As more water replaces air in the pores, the water from the soil surface infiltrates more slowly and eventually reaches a steady rate. This is called the basic infiltration rate. The most common method of measuring infiltration rate is field test using a double ring infiltrometer. The rings are partially inserted into the soil and filled with water. The outer ring creates a buffer zone around the inner ring and limits the lateral movement of water. Let's see what are the materials and equipments we need for this practical. Double ring infiltrometer, hook gauge with ruler, shock absorbing hammer and a water bucket. Let's see how to do this practical. First, we have to insert this outer ring into the ground like this. Now, we are going to insert the inner ring into this. Now we have inserted this inner cylinder for about 15 to 20 centimeters. Now we are going to fix the gauge like this. To avoid soils inside this uh, inner cylinder being muddy, we have to lay a piece of cloth or polythene here. In this case, there is a grass cover, so no, no need of cloth or polythene. Now we are going to fill water into this inner cylinder for approximately about uh, 10 to 12 centimeters. At the same time, we have to fill the space between two rings also. The water level inside should be higher than the water level between the rings to avoid seepage inwards. Then measure the water level with the hook gauge of ruler as soon as possible. After 2 minutes, record the drop in water level like this. The initial water level was 12 centimeters so we have to bring this up to the level of 12 centimeters pour water until the level come to this point measure the water level in the inner cylinder at 3 5 10 15 20 and 30 minutes intervals after each measurements water level in the inner cylinder should quickly be brought back to the original level. This is the way to record data. Here, water level before filling is the reading of hook gauge at the end of each time interval. Water level after filling is the reading of the hook gauge after refilling water to initial level. Then, the infiltration can be calculated by the difference of hookage readings of water level after filling and before filling. Then the infiltration rate can be calculated by dividing the infiltration value 
by the time taken in millimeters per minute. Then the infiltration rate values converted into millimeters per hour which is the standard way of expressing infiltration rate. Infiltration rate and the accumulated infiltration against cumulative time can be plot in a graph like this. The basic infiltration rate can be obtained from the graph as it is the minimum value which remain constant. Accumulated infiltration of a given soil in a given time can be determined using this equation where Wt is the accumulated infiltration, Wi is the initial infiltration, T is the infiltration opportunity time and alpha is the constant. Then the equation can be rearranged to get Y equals mx plus C straight line equation. The log values of cumulative time and accumulated infiltration can be tabulated like this. From the graph between log base 10 of t and log base 10 of wt, we can find the infiltration rate at the beginning and constant for the measured soil. Intersect of the graph is the initial infiltration rate or Wi and gradient is the constant or alpha. Now let's move to the practical of determination of permeability coefficient using falling head method. Permeability refers to the porosity of soil to allow water to move through its void spaces. Usually, finer the texture, slower the permeability. Permeability coefficient can be defined as rate of flow under laminar flow conditions through a unit cross-sectional area of a porous medium under a unit hydraulic gradient. There are major two methods of uh, determining permeability, falling head method and constant head method. We mainly use falling head method for less permeable soils and constant head method for permeable soils. As today we are going to learn about falling head method, we need a falling head permeability measuring instrument. This method is mainly based on the principle of Darcy's law and the measurements of uh, this falling head method or the permeability uh, coefficient can be used for determining groundwater flow, calculating seepage through dams, calculating uplift pressure and piping, designing pits for recharging and so on. For this practical, we need a falling head permeability measuring instrument, timing device, thermometer, soil samples from the field and water. Let's see the components of falling head permeability measuring instrument. Graduated tube. There are two scale lines, upper and lower, which are apart from 10 cm. Weight and net plate to prevent from float by water pressure. Rubber seal to avoid water leakages. Sampling cylinder to place the soil sample. Footed dish to hold the soil sample, water dish and rubber tube. Now we are in the field. Let's see how to take a soil sample with this sampling cylinder. Immerse the sampling cylinder into the soil and take undisturbed soil sample. Place the net plate, rubber ring and graduated tube with weight on the sampling cylinder. Then place it on the water dish. Pour water 
into the graduated tube. When steady state of flow has reached, pour water into graduated tube again and read the required time for the water level to drop from upper scale line to the lower scale line. Take time required at least three times. Measure the temperature of water because permeability coefficient is inversely proportional to the viscosity coefficient of water which varies with temperature. This equation which is used to calculate the permeability coefficient is derived on principles of Darcy's law. Here K is the saturated permeability coefficient at given temperature simple A sectional area of graduated tube L thickness of sample capital A sectional area of sample H1 water head from upper scale line H2 distance dropped from the upper scale line to lower scale line D time required to drop water from upper scale line to lower scale line these values are used in the test since those are constant for the instrument as permeability coefficient is inversely proportional to the viscosity coefficient of water which varies with temperature this equation can be used to convert other temperature values